Hey yo, what's going on everybody? It's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right. In this video, I'm going to be giving you a step-by-step -step tutorial and guide on how to transfer or migrate your last gen GTA Online character to the next gen consoles. This is good for PS4 to PS5 or Xbox One to Xbox Series X. Either way, it's fine. This is the exact process and everything that you need to know how to do this, okay? In addition, in the description down below, I will have linked a direct link to Rockstar Support, giving you guys more information on this. But as long as you watch this video, I mean, this is pretty easy. It's almost self-explanatory. I'm going to get you guys set up, and that way there's going to be no confusion. You'll get this knocked out, and you'll have a good time transferring your content, and your progress, and your character to the next-gen console, all right? Uh, make sure you are subscribed with notifications turned on. And if you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful, make sure you drop a like, okay? Now, I'm showing you footage directly from my live stream where I did this live in front of like a thousand people watching, okay? Everything, I wanted to make sure everyone got an idea how to do this. And I wanted to make this video so you guys don't have any trepidation or no worries at all. And it's going to be a smooth process for you. The migration overall was very easy. Uh, and painless. Okay, so this is me. Uh, I'm loading into GTA Online for the PS5. Okay, this is the next gen console. Comes with the GTA 5 screen. I just hit uh, the little continue button down in the right hand corner. Uh, it takes me to a display calibration screen, and you just confirm that. You know, how, whatever. If you want to make it brighter or darker, whatever, that's totally up to you. Uh, go ahead and confirm that. Once you confirm this part, it's going to take you to the landing page. The landing page is where you can migrate online or story, okay? Uh, I went ahead and chose online first. I wanted to get that knocked out and taken care of. And I will have a video later on today talking about how you can migrate your story progress as well, your single-player character, so look forward to that. All right, so I have the highlights over online, so the white box is over the online top left corner, and you just simply hit... Um, X in the bottom right corner, down low in the bottom right corner, hit the X button or A, whatever it is on Xbox. This is going to be the same exact process for either console. Okay, once you do that, it's going to take you into this cutscene. You're kind of being reintroduced to GTA 5 Online. All right, now I made a video earlier talking about whether or not I think it's worth it to migrate. I talked about some of the pros and the cons. And yes, while it is a bad thing that the player base has now split between last gen and current gen, basically PS4 and Xbox One with uh, PS5 and Xbox Series X. It, it, the player base is split. You do lose your last gen content. It, your, your progress is wiped out because it's literally migrated over the next gen. That is a huge con. I, I do agree with that. However, you know we're moving forward. We're progressing through uh, and we're moving on with the next steps in our gaming endeavors, okay? If you don't want to do this, then don't. This is totally your choice. But if you're a fan and you want to continue on and you want to enjoy all the different upgrades, uh, this is the process you need to follow. So we're going through with the cutscene. Um, and I'm going to tell you right now, I had trepidation. I'm glad I migrated. There's no looking back. There's no going back. I'm very happy with what I've done so far because the new game is it's beautiful. It's, it's insane. So you come to the Migrate Profile page. And it says, here you go, you can migrate this or whatever your character, whatever your account is. Mine, obviously, Ty Killington, character one. Uh, you can either hit uh, circle to do not migrate or whatever it is for Xbox. I believe it's X, maybe. Uh, or X to migrate or A on Xbox. And then there you go. It's going to have you confirm. It says, you are about to permanently remove your GTA Online profile, Ty Killington, from a previous gen console and move it to this console overriding any existing GTA Online data. Any unspent GTA cash will also be migrated. Migration can only be done once and cannot be undone. Please confirm you ready to migrate your GTA Online profile. And you know, it's, it's, it was a big moment, right? I was like, dang, I don't know, man. This is crazy. So once you are ready, go ahead and confirm it and then move forward. All right, so we confirm, move forward. I get a little screen that says, uh, success, your GTA Online profile associated with the Rockstar Social Games Club account has been migrated make sure you are signed into social club as well now it says choose your character okay now this is important to understand i only have one character a lot of you probably have two uh but since i have an open slot you can also choose to do the career builder on the open slot which is a nice kind of feature as well all right so i'm selecting my primary character my only one 
going to move over and I'm going to take you right through uh, the whole entire, you know, uh, entering online loading process. Now, a lot of people were reporting that they were getting hung up at 90% and they were on a black screen. If that happens to you, just close the application and restart on the next gen version of GTA and you should load in just fine. Okay, that's how you that's how you fix that. A lot of people were having issues with that, especially on launch. Uh, probably just the servers and networks being overloaded. I didn't have that issue at all. I was able to go right through. But if that happens, if you get a black screen, you get stuck on 90% loading, just close app and then restart on the next gen edition and it will load in just fine and you'll be good to go. All right. Again, we're just I'm just letting the whole process kind of cut through so you guys understand the, the time it takes. It's really not that big of a deal. It doesn't take that much time at all. Just letting it process and bam, there we go. I load in to my Kasatka and I, I immediately notice a difference in graphics and quality and smoothness with the frames. Uh, it was it was immediately uh, noticeable. It is a night and day difference. So I'm loading in. I was checking my uh, settings, getting those taken care of, making sure my money, my outfits were all good. You get a notification from how you get the uh, free vehicle for migrating over. You still have to do the race uh, with how there's like a little introductory race that he does. Uh, you know, he just gives you a little icon of the map you have to go to and that's it and your online migration is done and I promise you every single person that I've talked to about this I, you know, I asked did you think it was worth it and they've all said yes it was 100% worth it it is a bummer that we are now separate from the last gen uh, you know players that don't have a, a next gen console but you know give it some time and they will be able to migrate over and we'll be able to jam with them in the same lobbies again uh, just give it some time it's all it's going to take uh, so once that's taken care of, we'll all be a big happy family again. And there's tons more updates and things that come with this next gen edition. So I hope this video helped out. If it did, make sure you drop a like. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for the Illus and Reels content in the game. And again, smash, I mean, smush, smash that like button. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Yeah.